Welcome to Wild Lapland. We uh, consider ourselves a nature guiding company. We run dog sled tours uh, with sleds. We run uh, tours with carts. We hike with the dogs. We hike with other people. We have fishing tours and uh, kayak tours as well. My name is Donald Eriksson and we are running together with my fiance Maria, uh, Aurora Borealis Adventure. And we are mainly focused on dog sled tours during winter time. And summer we do canoe visits and stand up paddling and husky walks and and we also do aurora viewing tours and we have some aurora teepees where you can sleep and see the northern lights. This is Gerali Bekasin and my name is Annika Rydman. I am the CEO and one of the founders of the company. In general, it means that we should uh, show the nature that we are in, show the different aspects, historical aspects as uh, the Stone Age sites, for example, or the settlements uh, along the river or along the, the lakes that we have around us. It's all about taking care of nature and also the environment we have around here and tell people about both the, the old way of, of uh, cutting trees down in the modern way because you're going to see marks because we have a huge clear cuts nowadays. The biggest thing around is, is uh, the Sami, uh, Samis and their culture that is uh, present everywhere I would say. There are reindeer um, uh, path that we are crossing, it is uh, places where they feed, it is places where they stop, it's uh, reindeer fences, it is um, of course the Samis themselves when we pass by. For me, it's, 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 of course, it's, it's about the indigenous peoples, the Samis, mm. to never misuse their culture and to expose them in a way that they don't want. And, but also for people living here, their way of life, the lifestyle that, that they have, to stand up for it. Well, this is the way we live here. And it's, it's together with nature and, and to communicate that to the guests. You can never do things that are at the cost of someone else, someone else's culture. Uh, this land, for instance, is the grazing ground for the reindeer herd. The reindeer herders are about to bring down the reindeers from, from the mountains now, so they graze here during the winter. The Samis were here before we came. They were here with their reindeers, but cultural awareness is also, uh, I think, about the people that are living here in this neighborhood, in this village and surrounding villages. And for a person coming from a large city in Europe, it, it can be very provocative to, to hear that we are hunters, you know, it's a hunting tradition here for moose. So the book, we just explained it. Well, that's just, you know, that's the way we live. We grow our potatoes, we pick our berries, we hunt our meat. När jag började för väldigt många år sedan att tänka på det här med samisk turism så var det faktiskt ett sammanhang. Det var när jag var nere vid Umeå, en stor stad, där vi fick problem för att vår renjord var vi tvungen att och styra om till ett område. Det var ett väldigt populärt skidspår och det var skriverier i tidningen och folket var väldigt upprörda mot oss. Och det var inget roligt. Men eh, vi kommer fram till det här, varför, eller vi funderade varför det blev som det blev. Och det handlar ju bara om en enda sak. Människorna vet, många människor har ingen aning om hur renskälsel fungerar. Det handlar ju om en dålig utbildning. Och så väcktes idén för mig att eh, jag måste hålla på med det här för att eh, sprida kunskap vidare. Att eh, kunna berätta någonting om renskötseln som, eh, så att folk lär sig. För mig är det väl så att eh, det är väldigt viktigt att kulturen går ihop med den verksamhet som jag håller på med. Eftersom jag är ju renskötare i grund och botten. Att eh, hålla på med en verksamhet som eh, stör näringen, det är ju inte ett eh, alternativ. Det ska ju vara på det viset att eh, renen ska dra nytta av eh, det vi håller på med. 
Så därför håller vi inte på med någon sån här massturism som ska ja, som bara är jultomt i land. Vi lär från each other all the time. It might be small things that uh, the trail should be here instead of there because it fits for dog sledding and of course then for snowmobiles as well. Uh, it might be that uh, they are herding reindeers a little bit further south on the river. Okay fine then we stay away then we go into the forest instead mm. because the river is one of the pathways where they uh, move the reindeers up and down this, uh, from the mountain and, and down and then vice versa as well in spring. Mm. So um, are we... Um, We work together, I would say. For us, the Sami people is is uh, quite obvious that we have the Samis, but when you come from other countries, they never heard about Samis. They know about reindeers, but they don't know that all the reindeers in Sweden belongs to the Sami people. Mm. So <clears throat> they think it's wild reindeers, and they never heard about the indigenous people. Det är alltid viktigt att till att börja med lära sig om renskötseln, varför den finns i det här området och varför den beter sig på det vis den gör. Varför renarna vandrar just över det där området. Och sen att alltid ställa frågan när man har någonting nytt på G. Att göra det i samförstånd med Samerbyn och renäringen så att inte det krockar. För renäringen har sina rättigheter men det har ju också... Jag brukar säga så här, det finns lagstadiga rättigheter och det finns eh, eh, personliga rättigheter. When we have lunch or when we have fika on some tours that we actually talk about what is happening over here. How did this area come to? Uh, when do we see reindeers and where do we see the mooses? Why do they walk where they are mm. and such things. So the meeting with people and uh, the talk with people, the, the dialogue is a huge part of what we do. Mm. So I would say no, it's not really a problem. We uh, we try to educate people on on our area. Alma's mm. retten is is sort of a sacred thing here for us, and it gives us the opportunities to move freely in the woods, in the mountains. It's a fantastic thing in this country that you can move about all over the place. You don't need to own the land to be able to walk on it or pick berries or hunt. Um, but that brings a lot of responsibilities to you as, as a person. You, you need to have this, um, um, yeah, humble way to look upon things. And we, are, we, we know this because we grew up here. And we transfer that to our guests. You never leave litter. If you build a fire, be careful. Put the fire out after you leave. If you want to put up a tent, one night is okay. Would you like to stay more nights? You need to talk to the owner of the land. And all that. We communicate that to our guests. You have to take care of it. It's, it's, it's a gift, actually, to all of us. Without Allemansrätten, it wouldn't be possible for us to do all the guided tours that we do. To do the snowshoe tours, the ski tours, the husky tours and all that. It is a living project for us, talking to the Samis, being in their environment at the same time as we want to do our thing. Of course, we don't want to disturb or destroy anything. But at the same time, I want to be here and, uh, and do my thing, because that's important to me too. So hopefully it could be a benefit for everyone. We mm. um, we work together uh, mostly, I would say. Mm. Sometimes mm. I keep away. Sometimes I could go one way, and the uh, Samis are going one way. Mm. And then sometimes we meet, but in different times of the day. Mm. So it is. Um, we work together with the Samis, I would say. All men should be for ha a good experience of what they want to do, and all should be focused on what they want to do. Men då måste man ändå ha respekt för varandras näringar. Så vill man ju hitta på en grej så gör det väldigt enkelt. Bara ställ frågan innan. Hur ska jag kunna göra det här på ett bra sätt? Istället för att försöka bara köra på och köra över. Det är en väldigt dum idé enligt mig. 
when we started, I mean, we, we've been doing this now for 27 years, so it's quite a long time since we started. <laughs> but in the beginning there, we had a few smaller conflicts, not, not any serious ones, but that we had reindeers on our property. The reindeers was destroying some of our, our lanterns and things that we had out mm -hmm. to our wilderness camp. And so we took the discussion with the Sami people and, and tried to, to avoid this and to keep the reindeers off our private property. Um, but we also, we, we have met and, and deal with some problems together few times the, the Sami has come and asked if we can just move a little bit so they can bring the reindeers passing our place and we always found solutions so we we don't really have conflicts we we are trying to help each other out as much as we can we uh, believe that if we talk to each other then we can solve it we don't have to go in a certain direction we could go maybe to one place one day and then uh, to another place the next day if they are passing by with a reindeer herd or maybe if we tell our customers that ah, there's a big reindeer herd passing by today uh, but they are walking in the morning for example then we push our tour to the afternoon if that is needed so far we never needed to do actually this but uh, that is probably because we talk to the Samis and uh, we can uh, make our schedules uh, accordingly Eftersom jag har full förståelse för vad de sysslar med, eftersom jag är en del av renskötseln där. Jag tillhör ju Gran Samerby. Just nu är, står vi på Gran Samerby, min eh, granne Samerby. Vi är på norra sidan älven. Och eh, vi har ju inte gjort en enda sig grej utan att deras, fått deras samtycke. Fast än att vi har rättigheter att kunna göra ja, egentligen det vi vill. Men eh, då i respekt mot dem så då har vi... Alltid ställt frågan till dem före vi gör någonting. Och det verkar uppskattas. Och jag känner det att ska, det vara, ska vi bygga någonting på längden och på framtiden så måste det vara i samförstånd med, med andra renskötare också. Det är inte bara att gå min egna väg. We want to share with people our way of life, our way of being outdoor and you know, have people to enjoy what we enjoy when we walk the woods, when we pick berries, when we fish, when we hunt, and all that, that, that gives us as, a, as humans so much, because we have this longing to be outdoor, but we are so urbanized that we don't know how. say that it's it's very important to stay true to your idea and your ideals and to stand there and not go into to conflict I mean to open up and, and tell people what you are about to do and what you are doing and to be uh, honest about it. Det vi gör här nu det ska ge någonting till besökaren så att den när den får hem ska den ha ett gott minne från renen. Och sen när han pratar vidare till nästa person ska han kunna säga någonting om renskötseln som är väldigt viktigt att veta. Vad som är, kan skydda den, vad som är, kan eh, förebygga att problem blir. Och vad som är bra med den och som är kul att se och att eh, renet är väldigt fint djur. I think it has to come from within what you stand for because you can never ever fake it. And if you are true to what you stand for, the values that you as a person stand for and, and the company. It can never go wrong because when you have a sensibility, it will be so easy for you to navigate in all this.